As an Amazon seller, you need metrics that show how your advertising dollars are working. Right now, you probably use advertising cost of sales to figure out how efficient your ad spend is. Although this is a crucial metric, ACoS cannot accurately reflect the efficiency of your ad spend. Total advertising cost of sales, often known as TACOS, quantifies advertising spend in relation to total revenue earned, providing you with a far more precise view of your advertising efficiency. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patil, Product Evangelist at Sellrap and today I'm going to talk about total advertising cost of sales and how it will help you to understand your business's relationship to advertising. Well, here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to Seller App so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. So let's get started. What is Amazon Tacos? To start with, total advertising cost of sales is the relationship between your ad spend and overall sales. Mathematically, it is the percentage of advertising spend to total sales. Whereas ACoS is the ratio of your ad spend to ad sales, I usually interact with many sellers and they often confuse between uh, TACOS and ACoS. So let me clear this part. ACoS helps you to measure the effectiveness of your campaigns. But when you track TACOS month on month, you would understand whether uh, your ad spend is giving incremental sales growth to your business or not. Over the years, Amazon has become very competitive for sellers. With more shoppers uh, starting their product search on Amazon, the advertising CPCs are increasing, thereby the competition to gain customers' attention is growing. So Amazon sellers should look at various opportunities to increase their profits on the marketplace. Optimizing tacos to boost profits is a no-brainer. So as a seller, you should be on the top of your tacos to assess your overall profitability, monitor dependency on advertising, and analyze the impact of ad sales on organic sales. When you advertise a low tacos, indicates that your product sales are stronger. On the other hand, if your tacos is high, your advertising performance is kind of poor. In this situation, you should analyze the PPC campaign and experiment with fresh bids, products, and keywords. Combining all of these may also work at times. However, when you are launching new products or testing out new strategies, or when you are running ads outside Amazon like Facebook ads, your tacos could be high. You can treat it as an exception. Now, what defines a good tacos? So when we measure tacos and ACoS in a timely manner, we'll observe certain trends like increasing tacos and decreasing ACoS showing up. Now, let's look into different scenarios of tacos and ACoS and what they actually mean. So increasing tacos means uh, spending more on advertising to generate sales. In the case one, PPC sales are increasing, total revenue is almost constant, ACoS is reducing and TACOS is again increasing. This clearly means that organic sales are not going up. If this is happening with you, you should look into the organic rankings of your products. Check their organic positions for the main keywords. If they are not ranking, improve your listings and optimize your ads for better visibility. Tacos is flat or decreasing, means organic sales are rising. In case two, both PPC sales and total revenue are increasing. Whereas here you can see ACoS and Tacos both are reducing. This interprets that your campaigns are working well and showing results in organic sales as well. This can be an ideal case if you are not trying anything new with your campaigns. ACoS is decreasing and TACOS is increasing, it means 
that the organic sales are going down. In case three, you can see PPC sales are increasing and total revenue is going down. ACOS is reducing and TACOS is again increasing. Even though it doesn't happen very often, this situation is deceptive because the ACOS is reducing. It seems like your ads are giving decent returns, but be careful. Your organic sales are decreasing, which is bad for your brand and shouldn't be your goal. Both tacos and ACOS are decreasing. So in case four, both PPC sales and total revenue are increasing. Whereas here you can see ACOS and tacos both are reducing. This tells us that you are getting organic sales and the dependency of sales on advertising is less. Hope these different scenarios have helped you to better understand about tacos. Now let's look into how to optimize tacos for better profits. When running ads, you should keep three things in mind. Optimized spend, increased sales and better rankings. However, there are two important variables coming into the picture as you optimize your spending for higher sales. First is CTR and the second is conversions. Let's see how you can optimize these metrics. Let's look into the first one that is click-through rate. Your product listings are extremely important in improving your clicks and conversions. A general rule of thumb, if you want a lower ACoS and TACoS, your campaigns need to be efficient. So you should start with optimizing your listings. When a shopper searches on Amazon, you should ensure that your product grabs the attention. So to achieve that, you should optimize your listings and uh, ads for, you know, the titles, images, price, ratings, shipping, coupons or deals, the prime badge or any other badges. When I search for kitchen towels, I see certain products that follow similar kind of strategies. For instance, this product has good ratings or images. Uh, look at this product B for instance. The product B has like the limited time deal badge that gains customers attention. On the other hand, you can see product C which uses strike through pricing that can potentially increase your click through rate. You can use similar strategies to increase your click through rate. Second is conversions. When it comes to conversions, you should improve both organic and PPC conversions. Now, how do you optimize your organic visibility and conversions? Firstly, ensure your listing is intact. To know more about your product listing optimization, please find the detailed guide video in the description below. All these tips will definitely help you increase your organic sales share, which will eventually reduce your tacos. Coming to the advertising part, there are several ways to optimize tacos. Let's go with case one that is top performing products versus low performing products. One way to go about it is to identify the products that are heavily reliant on ads and products that need more visibility through ads. Let me show you how to do that with the seller app dashboard. So after logging into the seller app, navigate to advertising and select targets and search terms. Now targets and search terms will help you to find the top converting targets and search terms of all of your ad campaigns at one place. This will enable faster analysis of huge amounts of data. With this we have like four sub features. Let's look into product analysis for this particular use case. Product analysis facilitates the data aggregation of parent and child ASINs that you are advertising in the ad groups of your ad campaigns at one place. On the left, you will find all the ASINs. Here are product attributes, performance metrics and derived metrics. You'll find a small arrow in front of these metrics if you click on it you will get the expanded view of all the attributes and metrics. You are going to analyze all your ASINs based on all of these important metrics. So here you will find the critical details of sales, spend and A cost, which will help you to identify the top performing as well as low performing products. You can also sort them by the spend or A cost to get the desired results. Then compare this data with your total sales data from Seller Central to make informed decisions. 
You can also analyze positive and negative products through our insights feature. Insights will provide actionable tips to improve the uh, performance of your campaigns. Positive and negative ASINs will help you to reduce your tacos and increase your organic sales. Further, Campaign Manager reviews the overall performance of your ad campaigns with visual aids. The tags present here will assist you in identifying the performing, non-performing and underperforming campaigns at one place. You can also further analyze the ad campaigns by campaign attributes, performance metrics and derived metrics. Moving on to the use case 2, that is optimize for Amazon top of search placements. In Amazon PPC campaigns, when you bid for relevant keywords, your top of search placements are more profitable compared to other placements that is rest of search and even the product pages. So if you get the placement optimization right, you would end up spending way less money and make more sales. First, find the top keywords that you want to rank for your products and ensure you optimize the bids to gain the top of search results. Also ensure you optimize your campaigns to display ads on top of search pages for your seed keywords to get a better tacos. So what do you think is the important strategy to reduce your tacos? Let us know in the comments below. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Salarak. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss on any other video. And as always, happy selling!